All right, so today, this is a, it's a very successful day here. I have um, my rolling front of house cart and my stage rack, and I am sending three channels of audio over a single Cat 5 unshielded cable. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. I have this big loom, it's like 100 something feet long, and it's currently running over the white cable um, that I have. And I, I sketched it out multiple times, I had to go through this in my head. Um, but I ran into some issues and I'll explain those um, just in case you have the same thing. But essentially I have a coupler on this side and it's just the same same thing basically on both sides and then an RJ45 plug and Cat5 uh, in between. Um, yeah, I have a talkback mic running through it so I can use it to my uh, stage monitor. I have my PC's audio for Spotify and I have my headphone output for my monitor. Um, which I don't have plugged in right now. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to play some Spotify, and you can hear it. I'm going to throw my speaker, and you can see it's, it's the only input I have right now is my main, or my output is my main. Um, it's running through the Cat 5. Um, so yeah, there's that. And um, I have these little, I used to solder it uh, last year, actually. I was looking at this. I just saw it in here somewhere. I have a keystone that I punched down and I did the cable through that. I don't know where it went. Okay, I tried searching through this box. I don't know what I did with it. I literally just had it. Um, but it was a keystone that I punched down. I used my punch down tool and I, I, I broke off some audio XLRs and stuff. It didn't work right. I tried that last year, so I started over this year. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna solder it, right? And then I was like, you know, I'm stupid. They sell these breakout things, right? Actually, this one over here, I didn't tape up yet. Um, yeah, it's a it, RJ45 and it has all eight conductors. It's a, like a Phoenix, like a screw down terminal, um, just like that. Uh, and I uh, essentially, you don't want to do it through like switches and stuff, but patch panels and stuff, as long as it's one solid run, doesn't have any splices or anything. I guess you could splice, but you don't want to go through like a network switch. So don't like send it through like your router or something. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just eight conductors and they're really long. I've, I've read online you could do like up to a thousand feet of this, which is insane. That's a really long run. Um, but I ran into an issue. I originally had it plugged in here to this one and it wasn't working. So there's something wrong with that keystone. So I tried a different one um, all the way over here and it works fine. Um, but yeah, it's the, just a pass through essentially 100 feet of cable And I have another keystone over there a wall one There it's a coupler actually there both of them are couplers and it runs out and up to this thing um, And then I I just have normal like XLR like D square panel mounts and stuff and it works so I can see like my talkback mic um, doesn't work in the house mix. I plug it into my stage monitor, so like I can push here and there there it is. So this this channel, I don't know if you heard it, it buzzes. Um, I didn't ground this channel. You can see that in my diagram. Um, I uh, it's just hot hot and negative, um, positive and negative, and uh, I I could have grouped it with other grounds. Uh, but I, I didn't, and I cut the cord, and I don't feel like redoing it right now, so. But uh, all it, it just picks up noise. I'm guessing it's from, like, one of the transformers in my cart, or these LEDs that are strobing, so. Uh, I also want to point out that um, there's no noise or anything. If you can look at my RTA on, on here, on my Spotify channel, and it, there's nothing until I start playing stuff. So... There's no noise added to the system over this like cable run. Um, it's all just whatever. It's all clean audio, and it's unshielded, so it's and it's not picking up anything. I mean, I have this thing like all running all over. There's cables everywhere. It would pick up something. Even though it's like I step on it, you know, it's not not picking up anything. But the talkback mic, um, since it's not shielded or uh, it's not uh, running in par um, uh, parallel. I'm blanking. Um, it, it's picking up noise and it can't get it, the noise out. So, um, just fine. It's just for the talkback monitor, but 
Maybe in the future I'll ground it or something. Um, if you use a shielded Cat5 cable, technically you could get all four channels uh, over it. Because um, you'll have the extra ground wire with it um, for the shield. But I don't have that. So, three channels it is for now. But I could do technically four channels if I want a lot of noise on all of them. I'll just do hot and negative and skip the ground. Um, but then I would need like a ground isolator. So I don't recommend that because it'll sound like the talkback mic that I just showed you. So, yeah.